do I even go to events that require me to be fashionable enough to wear something like this? Today I am decluttering my closet. I'm going through all of the things that I need to get rid of. There is a charity store in my neighborhood that I really, really want to go try to donate a lot of these clothes to because I know they're always taking donations. So that is the plan for today and for this video. If it's your first time here, hi, I am Andy. I'm a South African flight attendant in the charter industry. While I'm home, I am planning my umembeso wedding ceremony. I am trying to declutter this house so that we can repaint it. Before I left, I had already started throwing things in bags to get rid of. So I'm just gonna continue with that. Also, I literally had to shove things into this cupboard the other day because we actually already sold. I had a chest of drawers that used to sit there next to this desk and I was selling our dining table and the lady that came to buy the dining table also went to the chest of drawers so I was like oh, oh okay I mean you can have it of course but like let me get my crap out of it. I am trying my best to create this whole capsule wardrobe that is timeless, not super trendy, like every now and again I want it to be trendy, but for the most part, I want it to be as timeless and elegant as possible. I just wanna look nice. Been window shopping a little bit and I've seen some items that I would be interested in buying in the stores, but my main goal is to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff before I go and buy anything. So this stuff, I don't remember what this is. I just know that it was already shoved in this bag before I left. Oh, this is stuff that I've tried to get rid of for the longest time. I'm pretty sure this whole bag of stuff has been sitting on my Yaga store, like the secondhand selling store, but no one has bought it. So now I am just going to take it straight to the charity store instead. I don't feel like dealing with trying to sell stuff that no one wants to buy. So this stuff I just quickly shoved in this bag while I was taking my clothes out of my chest of drawers. So yeah, I've got a bikini in here that is very mismatched. It's just like literally these pieces, I'm pretty sure I got them separately and I just don't feel a need to wear them anymore. Checking that in there, I got some of Keegan's old shoes in here as well and some of our old belts. This dress I absolutely love. I wore this dress on my episode of Come Dine With Me when I was on it, oh my gosh guys, I really, the other day I accidentally was scrolling through the TV and my episode was playing. Did I not get PTSD? Word, what a terrible experience. Okay, no, let me not call it terrible. It was, it was fine. I thought it was a good experience until I watched the episode and then I was like, oh, that's what you were saying about me to the cameras. Oh, I don't like that. It's been like, a few years now since I was on that show. If you don't know what Come Down With Me is, by the way, it's like a cooking competition show here in South Africa and in England, I think, that I've always loved and that I always wanted to be a part of. Um, yeah, and a couple years ago, I got the opportunity to be on the TV show. And if you guys want, let me know in the comments if you want me to sit down and do a story time about that. I love this leather jacket, right? I do love it but I have a black one that I wear so much more than this one. And honestly, just the black one is so much easier to wear than a brown one, so. But at the same time, I feel like I should keep this. Oh no, this is why decluttering is so difficult. Because I don't have, like, I'm sure it's okay, right? If I have like one black leather jacket and one brown leather jacket, because those are the only leather jackets I have. So it shouldn't be a problem. That's not like too much. This dress also too tight for my body. And honestly, I am over it with keeping clothes in the hopes that maybe I'll be able to change my body or slim down or whatever and be able to fit in it one day because that's just not the reality. My battery is already dying. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, anyway, now this cupboard is mostly my stuff, but there's some of Keegan's jackets and stuff. He's got most of his clothes in the other room. And I've got more of my formal clothes in here, like my blazers and like interview clothes, you know? Things I don't really reach for very often, as well as some jackets and hoodies. Which of all of these, I'm not getting rid of any of these. Not at all. No, I've got my black leather jacket here. I've got my brown puffer jacket. It's the only puffer jacket I've got. And that's fine by me. I do want to invest in a puffer vest though. And then in here, what do I have? I've got two belts. I have a pair of blue jeans, a pair of black jeans, 
these jeans actually don't even fit me well enough anymore especially the, the blue ones are a bit tight i think i don't like those pants anymore i never wear them and they actually don't flatter me they don't flatter me at all so i don't know why i still have them and a scarf i've got my mom jeans some black paper bag pants which i'm keeping i've got some light blue wash jeggings as well here i have my sister bought me this guys can i just show you this contraption because i've literally never owned it you can see the tag is still on it i don't know how to wear this i don't like do i even go to events that require me to be fashionable enough to wear something like this i don't think so it's one of these harness babies that i mean it looks cute don't get me wrong it looks hella cute and like i could build some really cute outfits with this how random is this and i'm definitely keeping it because like i said i've never worn it it's brand new and my sister bought it for me but can someone invite me somewhere where i can wear this and not look like a clown <laughs> i think i'm gonna get rid of this skirt because this past summer i was definitely a midi length floral skirt girly and a satin skirt girly as well this is like a sage green skirt and i've got a black satin skirt so I'm gonna keep those two. I'm just getting rid of this skirt because you know what? I don't really like how, I like the skirts with the slit, but I don't really like this one because it's like layered and it has a slit. Like I wish it was just layered. Or actually maybe I can keep this one and just like sew it closed. So that, yeah, no, I'm gonna keep this one because I do like the skirt itself. It's very comfortable. Who wants to blaze a bet that I'm gonna get rid of like nothing? because I just keep finding reasons to keep stuff. My birthday party dress, I got this dress from Shein and I'm absolutely obsessed with this dress and I'm definitely keeping it because I've only ever worn it to my birthday party. I feel like I could get away with wearing it to someone's wedding maybe at some point before I really need to get rid of it. This dress I think I'm gonna get rid of. This dress also is just, it's a little short for me. It's a little bit short, like it's not that short, it's literally just above my knee, but in summer here there's always just a little bit of wind <laughs> and this dress fits a little like baby doll like and i'm just not the type of person that wants everyone to see my bum when the wind blows my dress up that's all <laughs> oh my dress that i had made in niger oh i love this dress i freaking love this dress i would have actually worn it for my umembe so ceremony that's coming up the only issue with it is that i didn't have the extra fabric to make a matching shirt for keegan for his outfit for our umembe i think i might retire this jersey i never wear it if i haven't worn something the previous season that it's meant for then i'm probably not going to wear it again and this jersey i just didn't wear it enough last winter but it's still in like good enough condition that i think somebody else would really get some good use out of it Okay guys, I actually think this is a pretty successful declutter. What do you think? This entire bin bag is pretty much full. I'm also going to donate this macrame wall hanging that I made when I lived by myself in a little cottage in Boxburg. Oh my gosh, I loved my cottage so much. But I think somebody else will really enjoy it, but that's what it looks like. And then I'm also gonna donate this little Milex plug heater thing because it just never really worked for me it was never effective and then these lashes that i've just had i don't want to just throw them away so you never know somebody might want to buy them i think that's it from my stuff in terms of clothing throughout the evening i'll go through like decor items and in random cupboards and see if there's anything that I want to donate and stuff. Especially if there's things that I've been trying to sell on Facebook Marketplace that haven't sold. I want to go through those and see if I can get rid of those as well and go donate those instead. And then when Keegan gets home, I'm also going to have him go through his stuff. Because he's got a bunch of clothes that don't fit him anymore. So I really want to fill up this bag even more with his secondhand stuff that he doesn't wear anymore that we can go and donate. Also, this is hopefully your reminder 
to go through some of the things that you really don't use in your house and consider donating them whether there's a children's home in your neighborhood or a charity store that could really use the donations please go for it okay this is everything i'm donating this entire bin bag i've also got some games and random stuff in there i think i showed you guys i have my old twilight books and this tripod that just it doesn't hold up my camera anymore so i'm gonna go donate that as well I love you guys all so much. Thank you so much for spending the last few minutes on my corner of the internet. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day further. And please continue spreading good vibes and being kind. Bye guys, I'll see you on the next video. You give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign.